Okay, uh, this is a little experiment, so I'll see how this goes. Uh, not promising anything, but the idea was to make some fake concrete logs. Uh, I've taken a proper log here and started applying the latex as shown in the previous uh, video uh, with a lot of detail from the bark. Um, so the idea is maybe I could add some red in there to make it look like a, a wood, you know, is it a wood block of wood or is it a brick wood, you know. Uh, we'll see. Uh, also got a little thing at the end here, just it should pick up the detail from the grain and hopefully from the rings on the slide. We shall see that later. But one thing I wanted to point out on this one was um, from choosing, obviously logs aren't perfect, so uh, some there's gaps down the bottom well, I need to fill in. So um, a makeshift method is I've used uh, some gauze from first aid kit, uh, cut it down uh, to try to bridge that gap so then there's no holes in the uh, final mould. So all I've done is cut it out and it's, I'm bridging the gap. There's a gap down here. So um, yeah, but one thing, once you put reinforcements such as this gauze down, uh, it's held tight so there's no elasticity involved but because the log itself is uh, starting big and going small there should be no problem of demolding it um, so yeah as I say just taking this uh, gauze and uh, gonna fit it underneath here like so and just <coughs> dab latex on so yeah I'll let that dry um, I do believe that didn't work um, I think I have to get a, a thicker bit <laughs> um, it's still a hole down there and all I've done is just swept it underneath there uh, so stop and I'll go and get another bit one okay so I've just come back and uh, cut a, uh, a bigger bit of gauze so I'll, I'll make sure that that hole's definitely uh, taken care of in future coats so just um, uh, brushing in so it will dry uh, and so then you know I'll be able to uh, uh, paint now after that of the latex and it will just build up on top of there and we'll just create like a bridge bridge effect um, these kind of you know with, with bigger the bottom smaller at the top uh, no mother mould is going to be needed because I'll take the original log and uh, imprint it into some soil or sand and then that will hold it rigid while casting whatever medium you decide. So, yeah, this is an experiment. So, I shall uh, keep you up to date. Check the a, 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 uh, a tally sheet also with the amount of layers, um, and I shall join you uh, later on. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, 13, 12 coats in these, and I'm going to mold these because I don't need to do any um, other molds for them. Um, should just be the case of taking it out and
interesting to see the detail and how it picks up. You can see the nuts and the little bits in there. Not it hurts you come. So this one I'm not sure about because I'm sure um, it's got a little hole. Here. I'll find out. So I should have had it there so on this plus side down because there is a clap put out now. I was undercut from this here, but to go. We'll give it a go up here. Okay, now mixing up the concrete for the uh, for the logs. I am um, got all pure white cement here, and this is it's normally white sand, uh, very fine. So uh, if you use fine sand and uh, what fine white sand and uh, white cement, then you'll end up with a really white product. Uh, finer sand, meaning you, you'll acquire more detail. Uh, especially for that little uh, log that I'm doing and also um, yeah I decided that I'm going to try to make them look like bricks uh, so I've got some uh, oxide powder which will um, help it uh, with the colour uh, I'm going to go uh, five uh, sand to one cement uh, well include a little bit of this uh, I'll mix that up and uh, yeah um, I don't know how much sand I might have to go onto the other sand after this but uh, for that little one I'll definitely use the uh, finer sand uh, okay and for the logs I have uh, just surrounded it like in the sand to uh, support it a little bit so um, hopefully that should work we shall see so Okay, so I've mixed it here. It's uh, quite runny, but still quite thick. Um, I think I put too much red in, but as I say, uh, this is uh, for the little one here, because I've got quite a bit of detail. So I'm just going to spoon it in and let it uh, find its... Uh, let it sink into the uh, the other sides and let, let the uh, liquid do the work uh, so. Cause I can't really uh, shake these ones, I can just move them around a bit so uh, yeah. if you just <sighs> agitate a little bit ok so we're nearly there I need a bit more for me. Uh, just uh, move it away. Uh, okay, so I shall uh, leave that one and just continue on the other ones, doing the same thing. And uh, yeah. Okay, so uh, they're all uh, filled and I'll come back in three days and uh, shall see if it's working or... Uh, and uh, yeah, hopefully uh, a dog and some logs. Okay. <laughs>